Um, it's one of my favorites. I have a big bias for it. <laughs> um, it's it's different. It's like unconventional. There are many components to it. I remember people saying, "Ah, oh, it sounds like three songs in one or something." But I find with the right performer, you can make that work. It's like a standout. Ronella's really strong performer. She has such a big voice. She always nails the choreography. And she has like such a big personality. Yeah. And it, yeah. She's competitive. It's, yeah. It really stands out well for me. But. Yeah, I do agree with that. Um, I am a little concerned because, like, as you said, it's like kind of like a mishmash of mm -hmm. different things. Like, I don't think it's like jarring, although towards the end it does feel a little bit on the incoherent side um I, I do worry about its chances with the juries for that reason mm -hmm. especially yeah i could agree with that yeah yeah especially when like this first half is quite pretty stacked it's just kind of like like i do worry about it a little bit uh but like i think that you know if they really do well with the staging and you know Albania has done well with the staging the last few years so I do have some confidence there like I do yeah. think it could like get through although as I say with this with this first half I'm a little bit worried because I just kind of feel like if you if you if you if anyone slips up that like, you could be in trouble if that makes sense <laughs> for sure yeah with a song like that this, I could see how maybe the staging could become messy pretty easily. I know her stylist, they made a comment that said that she'll look very modern and bombastic, but it'll also be a very different con concept than what we saw at the festival in Can Congos. Oh, okay. So there'll be, but the dancing will be more intense, but there'll be less performers. They said they'll, she'll have four performers, so maybe that'll look cleaner, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Um, yeah. John, what do you think? Yeah, it, um, as, as you've already said, it's a bit of an ESC Pulse tradition to do the first episode without the running order. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I, do, I do think that this seems like a logical opener. Um, I, hope, I hope I'm right. <laughs> and um, yeah, what an opener it would be. Um, yeah, yeah. Ronella's an amazing performer and I'm not worried at all, to be honest. I think that going to sail through and do very well. Um, last year, there were a lot of strong female-led pop songs, and they kind of split the vote, I think. This year, um, I've only counted one other one. I might have missed somebody. Um, I've only counted one other song that's like this. So mm -hmm. I think there's a good chance that, that they'll do really well. Yeah, that is yeah, that is a good point because there is a bit of a USP there in the context of this semi final. Um, yeah. In regards to um, running order predictions, and this might age really badly can, if they release it in between editing, but um, I, <laughs> I, I've got this and another song uh, in mind for a potential opener, I think. Which we'll get on to later, obviously. Um, um, anything else before we give it the first scores of this first episode? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, just pretty, like, I guess anything can go however which way for the performers. I just know Ronella is really, she's, she has lots of experience. She did Kanka Magic like five times and she has all this oh. TV experience. Yeah. So I think that'll work in her favor, hopefully, for the big stage. Yeah. That'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It certainly doesn't have she's, yeah. certainly she's a versatile doesn't... performer. Yeah. Yeah, that kind of experience certainly doesn't hurt. Um, <laughs> so let's get on to the score. So um, I'm going to give this a free. What about you, John? Ooh, um, I'll give Albania four. And Ariana? Four. And the public, give it a three out of five.